Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have not said that in so long. It's definitely been like four or five weeks since my last video post. Um, Happy New Year first and foremost because it is 2018 now and I cannot believe it's already 2018. Like where is time going? But it is a new year which means I am revamping my closet. It also has to do with the fact that I just moved. As you can see, it's a completely new setup behind me. I actually moved apartments specifically for YouTube. I didn't have a lot of lighting in my other apartment. And coming up soon, I'm going to do a whole video of my new place and kind of show you how I set everything up. So I want to get to my first video in 2018, which is an un- Boxing. I'm so excited for this item. It's something that I have had my eyes on for a very long time. It's so cute and so chic and it is obviously from Gucci as you can see on the box. And what's pretty cool about this item is it's actually not for me. It is for my older sister. We both wanted the same item. We were going to get it in different colors. But I am doing the unboxing of hers first because I actually ended up getting something completely different and I'm going to show you that in the next unboxing video but let's get to it i'm excited to show you this piece and what's even more interesting about it is it looks different in person a uh, combination of the color and sizing and things like that so that's why i really wanted to do a video on this item because i know it's a very popular item all your favorite celebrities and bloggers are wearing them so let's get to it let's see what's in this box and time to open it up So of course this piece comes with the dust bag. It's a traditional white silk Gucci dust bag. It has the writing right there. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what's in here because I did an Insta story when I was at the Gucci store. I did show a bunch of different items, but this is one of the items that I posted up. So if you don't follow me already, make sure to follow me at Lena Nori on Instagram. That's kind of where I do most of my videos for shopping. Now this item is known as the Gucci Marmont leather belt bag which is pretty much a fanny pack but I feel like that's just like the fancy terminology they give it but I love this fanny pack it gives me Kelly Kapowski vibes if you guys watch Saved by the Bell she was always wearing that like neon fanny pack but I love this bag and my sister wanted it in the beige this is the beige leather and I was gonna get it in the black leather but what ended up happening was when I went to the store I saw something that was a little bit different which I will do an unboxing of next but this bag is everything and I love the color. I love the beige tone. It's not more of like a pink tone. If you guys have any Valentino pieces or the Givenchy Antigona, they have kind of more of like a pink or lighter leather. This is definitely more of a darker beige. So you can wear it from daytime to nighttime. And my sister is a mother of two. Her children are now eight and 10. So she's not so much in the diaper bag phase. She just needs like a little easy bag to throw on, especially when she's taking the kids from place to place. So this is super convenient. You can just wear it around your waist or around your hips, which is why they call it the belt bag because you're able to adjust it to both fit your waist and also to fit your hips. And what's really cool about this is you can actually put it inside of your belt buckle on your pants. Now, if you do have the lighter wash, I wouldn't recommend putting it on dark denim. Definitely get a leather protector first, which is what I always recommend when you do get a lighter colored handbag and leather um, or actually any kind of material. Even if you have suede, make sure to always get protector on. You can either do it yourself or I always recommend getting it done professionally just to be safe. But yeah, definitely avoid denim. And if you are going to wear denim, make sure it's something that you've washed at least four or five times to make sure that a lot of the denim coloring doesn't come off as easy. And here is the actual belt buckle. So this... Is pretty much a belt if you look at it it just looks exactly like a traditional Gucci belt except of course it doesn't have the GG monogram and you just stick it into right here and what's really convenient about this is that it has nine different holes which means you can adjust it to whatever size you wish and something else that's interesting about this bag especially if you are purchasing it online is that you do need to know what your Gucci size is for your hip and waist so this is actually an 85 my sister's probably more of a 75 or 80 but the reason why i went with an 85 is that not only can this be worn on your hips and on your waist but you can also kind of wear it over your shoulder which i'll show you in a second this is basically inspired by sportswear which is very interesting because it is 
It does look sporty. I can see where they get the whole sporty vibe from it because of the shape. So I'm gonna show you the different ways that you can wear this bag. As I mentioned, it's meant to be worn on your waist and also on your hips through your belt buckles, but you can also kind of wear it over the shoulder and actually cross body. So that is why, as I mentioned, we went with an 85 instead of a 75 because you also have those nine extra holes so you can tighten it or loosen it as much as you want, but it's super versatile and you can wear it to the gym as it's meant to be a sports style, or you can wear it with a pair of ripped jeans and a top. This is definitely a great piece to transition from winter to spring, and then also you can wear this daytime. You can wear it with a summer dress. Honestly, spring is coming up. You can throw it over a floral dress. So it's definitely a great piece to go through all the seasons and from day to night. And it's $1,100 with tax. It came out to exactly $1,204. The only thing I will say is, this is a lot smaller than what I thought. The measurements of this bag is seven inches wide, it's four and a half inches tall, and then two inches in depth. So if you do have an iPhone 7 Plus or any of the pluses, it might be a little bit difficult to put it into this piece. I'll actually show you guys, my phone is right here. And I wanted to just kind of show you that you can still fit your iPhone 7 Plus in there, but it's extremely tight. So as you can see, it pretty much fit my iPhone 7 Plus. It's kind of peeking out of the corner right there. You could still definitely close it, um, but there won't be a lot of other room for anything else. You can maybe throw in like a credit card and ID, some cash. She's in here, you can throw like an eyeliner, possibly a mascara, lip liner, um, and then definitely a lipstick will fit in there. And as you can see, you can fit an iPhone 7 Plus but it's pretty tight in there. Now this bag also comes in other colors. It comes in the black and gold, the red and gold, and then there's also a bunch of different velvets with crystals on it. So you're referring to the velvet and the crystals. There's three options. I believe there's like a black, a pink, and then an emerald green. I really love the emerald green color. I'm just not a huge fan of crystals. I don't like all that embellishment on a bag. And I also am not a huge fan of velvet because it's seasonal, which means that you can wear it pretty much through fall and winter, but it's gonna be kind of hard to pull off um, in the spring and summer. So leather is the way to go, especially if you wanna get the most use out of it, and also it's more of a neutral color, so it'll go with a lot of different pieces. You can find this online. Uh, make sure that if you are someone, as I said, that puts a lot of stuff into your bag, that you do try this on in person, especially if you have a larger phone. But other than that, I love this bag. I would definitely buy it. I think it's one of the hottest pieces for 2018. It did come out in pre-fall 2017, so it's one of the hottest pieces for 2017, transitioning into 2018. And I'm excited to show you guys what I bought next, because unfortunately this is going to my sister's house. But um, if I do end up getting the black and gold one, I'll also do a video on that, just so you guys can kind of see how I style it myself and how the black and gold looks. Yeah, so I hope you like this video. Make sure if you haven't already to subscribe below and give this video two thumbs up if you liked it. And if there's anything else that you wanna see, of course, comment that below. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.